Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Warren Buffett is a renowned businessman, investor, and philanthropist, worth over $76 billion, and is considered to be one of the most successful people that ever lived. He's traveled all over the world and made business deals in the hundreds of millions of dollars, and he regularly appears on television and in documentaries. Despite all of this, Mr. Buffett has one simple but very cherished possession in his office. He has a diploma from a self-help course he took in 1952. He once said, I was terrified of public speaking, and he couldn't do it, and he would throw up if he had to speak in front of other people. What Mr. Buffett had done was he read Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and, in How to Win Friends and Influence People, and took the associated self-help course and claimed that it changed his life. He said in a 2010 interview that he doesn't even have his diplomas from college or business school on his walls, but he still keeps that Dale Carnegie certificate framed. So, what is it about this book? What lessons does Dale Carnegie have that can change the life of one of the most successful people in history? There's a possibility that if Warren Buffett never read that book, he may never have become the man he is today. Tonight, I want to share with you the lessons held within How to Win Friends and Influence People, and hopefully encourage you to read the book as well. How to Win Friends and Influence People was written in 1936 as a supplement to the self-help seminars Dale Carnegie was already hosting. Mr. Carnegie guarantees his book will help win people to your way of thinking, make you a better speaker and a more arousing conversationalist, and help you to handle complaints, avoid arguments, and keep all of your human contacts smooth and pleasant. There are dozens of rules throughout this book, but they all share common themes of just treating people the way they want to be treated. No psychology, no manipulation, no tricks. Just genuine people skills. A common idea in this book is building relationships with people by, talk, by making them feel important, by talking about things that interest them. Mr. Carnegie said you can make more friends in two months by being interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to make them interested in you. Try this at home or, or around work sometime. Don't say a single word about yourself, but instead make yourself ask others all about themselves. Listen sincerely to them and ask follow-up questions. This is great for me whenever I start a new job. I can quickly turn Co-workers I see every day into great friends simply by shutting up about myself. Try this with any relationship you'd like to improve. Just ask them questions and listen. A second major thread that runs through this book is avoiding negative situations. Not running from confrontation, but knowing what it takes to get the best out of the situation for everyone. We are instructed not to criticize, condemn, nor complain to show respect for other people's opinions, and the only way to win an argument is to avoid it. How many, times in your how many times have you argued in your life and been able to change the mind of another person? Probably close to zero percent. I know I can't think of a single time my arguments have made someone else change their mind. It just makes both people resent each other. So why do it? How to Win Friends That Influence People states, you can't win an argument because if you lose, you lose. And if you win it, you still lose. Why? You, you will feel fine, but what about him? You made him feel inferior. You hurt his pride, insulted his intelligence, his judgment, his self-respect, and he'll resent your triumph. That will make him strike back, but it will never make him want to change his mind. If you're about to start an argument, don't. Remember that it won't get you anywhere. If you're about to criticize someone or something, just don't. Try complimenting that person or finding the silver lining in the situation. Pay attention to how that makes you feel when you avoid that negative situation and turn it into a positive. Probably better than if you had a follow your gut reaction. Warren Buffett transformed himself into a titan of industry by proactively seeking a way to work with other people. There is no greater skill in life than knowing how to guide every situation to a win-win. I read this book just about once a year to refresh myself on these rules, and I notice a big improvement in my relationships afterwards. 
Also, pay attention to the people in your lives that you genuinely like spending time with. Chances are they get you to talk about you, they listen, they don't complain, and they make you feel important. And maybe they're following the rules in this very book and you don't know it. How to Win Friends and Influence People acts as a handbook for building and repairing relationships and lays a framework for how you should treat other people. I encourage you to read this book and take to heart the lessons held within. Chances are you can learn something that can make your life or someone else's better. Thank you.